Welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen, again to November uh, Committee of the Whole Meeting for November 3rd, 2020. I call this meeting to order and ask the clerk to please again call the roll. Trustee Carbonero? Uh, present. Beanie? Here. Danzi? Here. Hopkins? Here. Ranky? Present. Wonski? Here. President Wallace? Here. One item on our agenda this evening under Finance and Golf, Chairman Daney. Thank you, Mr. President. We have the uh, debt refunding review, and with that, I'm going to turn this over to Todd. Director. All right, thank, thank you, Trustee Dane. Yeah, tonight is just an introduction to a couple of uh, refinancing opportunities that we have. Uh, Delana Welcomer, she's with uh, R.W. Baird. She's also on the, on the line if there's any uh, questions, more complicated questions that I can't answer. Uh, she's been here in the past in regard to our bond issues. She's our, our bond uh, financial advisor. Uh, so tonight is just an introduction. Uh, if we move forward on this, then we would be bringing a uh, draft ordinance to the committee meeting on December 1st, uh, bond ordinances in, in regard to um, uh, doing these refundings. The actual bond sales would be scheduled for early January. Uh, due to the interest rates uh, being down um, to the point where the savings are worth um, um, doing these refundings, and that would include the cost of the issuance. Uh, so the general to almost zero, right? <laughs> yeah, in some cases, <laughs> short term, yeah. Uh, the general rule is to save at least three percent. So um, we've we've um, uh, as we've shown in the memo that we've easily met that mark, and that includes the cost of issuance. So in both cases, we would not be extending the length of the debt, and the savings would be spread uh, over the term of the bond. So that's. Something to, something to note that we're not stretching out the payments on this. It would be the same uh, length of the payment term, so we would just be reducing the interest uh, payments that we've been making on them. The first uh, issue is the 2012 bonds. They were for streets resurfacing and also for the North Avenue FEMA retention project. Uh, at the beginning, uh, after our um, principal payment December 1st of this year, there will be $11,505,000 outstanding. Uh, maturity, final maturity date, December of 2031. The uh, call date is actually um, September 2021. So because of that, there, this would be an advanced refunding, which means it would be issuing taxable bonds. Uh, the rates are so low right now that it is, um, it's actually more uh, savings would be worthwhile uh, to issue taxable bonds to re replace these tax exempt bonds. Now, if the if the rates do go up less than a half a percent, as it says in the memo, um, by next September, it we would have saved more money, um, but we have a chance right now to lock in the savings for sure and not, not have to worry about uh, or risk the rates going up. Yeah, the rate environment right now, you have to do it now. Yeah, it's very low. So we could take advantage of um, the, the overall uh, rate of that, this uh, taxable refunding would be 1.568%. Uh, potential present value savings over $1.2 million or 11% of the, of, the, um, of the par value. So that so with inflation at 2%, we're actually making money while we're borrowing. <laughs> so, uh, and again, we spread that out over the years. So annually, that'd be about $120,000. Uh, so that's that's the first. Uh, so we're combining two re refinancings here. One. Uh, any questions on the first one? I don't think we have any questions on either one. I mean, if we're saving money yeah. on refinancing yeah. a bond, the I don't think we. Does second, anyone have any questions uh, about this? It's pretty straightforward. You're just refinancing and saving money on interest. Yeah. No. We're good. Anyone? My only question is, um, I know one of them is the DuPage Water Commission. Um, I know it's a small amount of money in the grand scheme of things, but will this or could this reduce the water rates? It would be about $85,000 a year, which, yeah, it all, it all gets factored into it. it, it, it Good point. Uh, it's 85000 I think our annual budget right now is uh, over $12 million, but small. You could do that math in your head, can't you, Todd? Hmm. <laughs> All right, if nobody has yeah, any other questions, we'll save you the breath. I think we're good. Okay. All right, well, thank you. Thank you, Todd. We'll be have this done. Yeah. 
Well, we're not. We're going for a January issue. Uh, that's a, a favorable time for issuing bonds. Um, we did a, we've done bond issues before around presidential elections. It's not the greatest time. It's also not the greatest time right before Christmas. Uh, so uh, that's why we've uh, we're, we've got time. We don't have to rush through it. Um, we'll be ready. Uh, we'll be doing the parameters bond ordinance again, which allows us a window of up to six months. So we approved the ordinance. Would be the second meeting in December, and then. We would have time, uh, so when the rates are favorable, uh, we would be able to. So if, if something did happen in January and it wasn't favorable, we could hang on and then wait to see if they come back down in February. Thank you. Okay. You, you, know, you notice we said potentially about mm. five times in the... Uh, yeah. So <laughs> Your rate is never guaranteed. Yeah, there's, there's some good fine print on the, uh, on the illustrations there. Yeah, appreciate it, Todd, thanks. Anybody have anything else? So we have, Mr. President. Any motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. By Trustee Daney. Second by Trustee Carbonero. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Carbonero? Yes. yes. Daney? Yes. Danzi? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Frankie? Yes. Swanski? Yes. We are adjourned. All right.